welcome back to Boondocking with Solar. I'm Tom and this is part one of getting started with RV Solar. We're going to talk a little bit about the batteries and a battery monitor and the energy audit to get you started on building an RV solar system. Let's talk about our batteries. We ask an awful lot of our RV batteries. We ask them to run the lights, water pump, fans, furnace, all the control boards for water heaters and air conditioners and even our thermostats. So they're pretty necessary if we're going to have an enjoyable experience while we're out camping. With that said, we need to know what the state of our batteries are at all times. The lights that you have in there where you press a button and it tells you your battery is good or half or quarter or whatever is really not very accurate and we need something a little better than that. Uh, those ones that run off just the voltage that we're talking about, uh, they're subject to uh, some wide swings of inaccuracy. So what I suggest is a shunt-based battery monitor that actually measures the amps in and out of your battery. There are several good shunt-based battery monitors on the market today. Probably the best known one is the uh, Victron 700 series, uh, but also the Trimetric by Bogart Engineering is a good one. And for a little cheaper version, uh, there's one on Amazon called Ally, A-I-L-I, -I, that seems to be a pretty good battery monitor. It's not quite as user friendly as the others are, uh, and maybe not quite as accurate but it is quite a bit cheaper, so it may be something you want to look at uh, depending on your budget. I would certainly recommend the Victron 712 above all of them. With these shunt-based monitors, we're able to take a look at each individual appliance as we turn it on and off and measure exactly how many amps it's pulling from the batteries. This is crucial when we're doing our energy audit, uh, which is just nothing more than figuring out what size battery bank we need. Uh, so we will go through with the uh, battery monitor with each appliance, figure out how much it draws in our particular application, and then add how many hours a day we think we're going to use it, and then we can figure how much battery capacity we're going to need. And this is the most crucial step in building a RV solar system. I'll put a link in the description below for each one of the battery monitors that I recommend. And then in our next video segment, we're going to show you how to install a shunt-based battery monitor. If you found this video to be helpful, be sure and click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything.